Russian literature. Well, I've many times said my favorite writer was Dostoevsky. When I left that last mental hospital lusting to know and understand how we are, who we are, I read notes from underground and here was the modern person written in the middle part of the 19th century. And then I read everything he wrote and it was, it was like an invitation to think deeply about so many aspects of life and to try to understand that a person is a certain way and that things happen that make a person that certain way. And I was sucked into Russian literature in general and it, it immediately thrust me to Tolstoy and Turgenev and Gogol and Pushkin. I feel like I could give a list of names and just say there's there's a beauty of the language, a beauty of of speaking out as Tolstoy did in War and Peace through relationships of people an abhorrence of war and how it seems necessary for men and Peace feels feminine. So, you know, they say Chekhov is often held up as the greatest short story writer. And those kind of statements are really just to say, read Chekhov. And I have, in fact, I love to read to Susan. And I have read all of Chekhov's short stories to Susan. I think it's 16 volumes. And he was a physician and a writer and a playwright. And it's almost like a doctor saying, if you want to look behind your skimpy little doctor interview, take a look at these lives and these stories. Well, and right now, in the evening, when Susan makes dinner, I read to her. It's a habit. And right now, I'm reading one of the really surrealistic Russian writers who died in prison, thanks to Stalin, Daniel Charms, K-H-A-R-M-S. And I wrote in my journal today, I read her four of his statements, his little stories, no, five last night, and she made me reread all five of them. Because that's Susan. She listens to the words, and when they're unusual and interesting, she wants to hear it again. And the Russian writers do that. I... I probably have three or four hundred books of Russian literature. They went through a lot. As an idealistic communist, I have read the literature that grew up around the 19th century with Bakunin and Chernyshevsky on up to the writers of the post-revolution, what I'd call totalitarian or faux communist period and how, and this is Russian writers, it's so important to write that you risk your life and many, like Charms, was killed because of what he wrote. And Russians are ready to risk their life for it. This one died in a duel. That one died in a duel. Crazy people. But if you remember any of the names I've just said, 
and you like reading deep stuff, go to the Russians. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you.